it's Nicola here from Gentle Beginnings. I'm very excited this evening as I'm going to be interviewing one of my hypnobirthing couples who did the course a few months ago and they're going to be sharing their story with us and how hypnobirthing helped them on their journey through pregnancy and birth to bring their little boy into the world. I'm out with the dogs just now on this lovely autumnal wintry evening and I'm just going to head back and get organised for my visitors coming. So let's go! So hi everyone, here we have Laura and Richie and baby Joshua. Um, they've come to speak to us about hypnobirthing this evening. They did the course in January this year and Joshua came along in May this year. So he's just under six months. And thank you for coming along this evening just to share your experience of hypnobirthing. Um, it's, I think it's just really useful for couples who are thinking about doing the course to hear firsthand from somebody who's, who's been through the whole thing and got their little baby. Yeah. <laughs> so first of all, can I just ask you how you heard about hypnobirthing and what made you want to do a live class as opposed to an online version or just maybe reading the book? Yeah, um, I had heard about hypnobirthing through a couple of people had, um, <laughs> who had done a live class mm -hmm. and it really benefited them um, and they had a wonderful birthing experience um, and I also think that you can hear a lot of horror stories what? <laughs> you, about, um, about uh, birthing days and babies being born yeah. and I didn't want to have that apprehension, I wanted it uh, to be something that I was looking forward to. But when I found your course, um, I had said to Richie, what do you think about hypnobirthing? And he had just said, um, you can do whatever makes you happy. But I didn't tell him it was a couple's course until <laughs> the, the week before. So that was a wee surprise. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Yes, yeah, so knew nothing about it, um, but I'm now an advocate for it. I would tell anyone to do it. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Laura's cousin the other day was just saying that uh, they were pregnant, and that after congratulations, the next thing I said was, "Are you going to do hypnobirthing?" Yeah. So, I uh, I just think it's uh, it's a really nice way to get you ready for the big day. Yeah. Uh, and for even even. I didn't have much to do on the day, but I knew I didn't. I just had to be supported. But yeah, um, I, uh -huh. you learn a lot, and uh, you start to understand what you're going to be doing when you're like. Exactly. Yeah. And I think it just prepares birth partners as well for any eventuality as well, and just even yeah. knowing what to do on the day if if the need arises for it as well. Yeah. Excellent. So, so yeah. So hypnobirthing does sort of prepare your mind. It gives you strategies for labour and for birth, but also there's benefits for you in pregnancy as well. So can I just ask if there was sort of what, how you felt during your pregnancy, knowing that you were doing the course in terms of relaxation and in terms of doing the course together, what sort of benefits would you say to people that there are for doing it during your pregnancy? Well, obviously you're doing it during yeah. your pregnancy, but what benefits are, are there for you and the baby? Oh, well, I thought it was excellent because I was just so chilled out mm -hmm. and I didn't have any sort of fear or tension about my baby. Yeah. Yeah, well, about Joshua, we didn't know if he was a boy or a girl at the time, but yeah, um, I had no fear or worry. And I think if I did start to feel anything, um, having that, the tools to be able to go into a deep relaxation really helped. I think it helped a lot with the sleeping, mm -hmm. which when you're quite heavily pregnant, it's quite important to get yeah. as much sleep as you can. You yeah. can be quite uncomfortable. And I think it just made me really chilled, to be honest. Good. And in the which, course as well, yeah, sorry. Which made my pregnancy a, such a lovely experience. Yeah. And that's something that I think, you know, in the course it, that people learn, it's really important to have that level of relaxation for your baby as well, which, yeah. you know, is has so many benefits for them too, because they're getting the benefits of all your happy hormones, all your oxytocin and your serotonin, your endorphins, and that translates to baby when they're in the amniotic fluid, that's what they're bathed in yeah. as well. So, so doing, having that experience and doing the course 
gives you lots of time to get comfy, doesn't it? Yeah. With your pillows and lie down and, and really experience a different level of relaxation. Yeah. yeah. Great. And in terms of doing the course together as a couple, I know that you were, um, it was a wee surprise for you yeah. to be coming mm -hmm. along together, but how did it benefit you together as a couple? Um, well, I think for us, it was, I think that we didn't really have a plan. Uh -huh. We just wanted like a safe birth. And I think by doing the course, we realised that all we had to do was relax and go through what we'd learned on this course. Mm -hmm. um, what you were saying about the sleeping was amazing because I think between the two of us, you, 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 you can be in a point where you maybe be stressed and thinking about it, but because we were learning, like I'm not going to sit down and read a baby book, so like I learned so much at the course and it helped me sleep because I was like, I've got this. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then for Laura, I think getting the recording on at night, press and play, uh -huh. we both zone out and go to sleep really yeah. quickly. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, it was so beneficial because I think when you're about to do something so, so life changing, just getting that kind of that extra hour's sleep mm -hmm. and not lying there worried about what's going to happen on the birthday or yeah. even the week up running up to the, the birth. There's a, there would probably be a lot going through your head, but for us, we're so chilled. And I know you're going to mention it's a section that we had, but we, we literally, like the day before and the day of, we were like so chilled. Yeah. Like yeah, it, yeah. Was, I, it was not like how I imagined it uh -huh. nine months before. No. Uh -huh. yeah. And we also had a few, um, not necessarily complications, but things that happened during the pregnancy yes. that uh -huh. could have got us both really yeah. stressed out yeah. um, but we were told we yeah. were fine weren't we so would you say it's just instilled confidence then? oh definitely yeah. mm -hmm. uh -huh. and I think that's that's really rubbed, <laughs> oh, rub, rubbed off on, on Josh as well he yeah, is quite yeah. a, uh -huh. a chilled out uh -huh. baby I mean it's, it's quite a bit later that we're recording this and he's probably thinking yeah. oh I'm usually <laughs> getting, his getting, his getting his foods and getting, getting my bath yeah. but he's pretty Okay, I'll say that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're actually, when we were telling Laura's cousin about, we, we said, well, there's this little recording that we listen to every night. Uh -huh. We put it on, and he went from like this to like yeah, lying yeah. back. Yeah, and that's, and that's something sick. I always tell couples about yeah. as well, that to listen to your hypnosis recordings on a speaker rather than putting your headphones yeah. in because then the baby hears yeah. it. And then when they're unsettled, when they're born, you put that on and often they do chill out because they recognise it, they, yeah. they, they know it. Yeah. And they know that you were so relaxed yeah. when that was on, so they automatically. Exactly, yeah, that's a lovely thing about it as well. Was there anything that surprised you about the course or anything that sort of stood out in particular? Um, so, I know that I signed up for it, but I was surprised that how much it worked. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. even I signed up to something because I was thinking, right, I want my baby's birthday day to be really lovely and special and not be worried. But there's still an element of you that thinks, right, but you know it's going to be really sore and you know that you'll be quite stressed out. And you know, and yeah. I honestly just had the most wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, just how much yeah. it worked and how much it helped not only throughout the pregnancy, but after Joshua was born as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. And how much that helped. Yeah. So it's the whole and was that in terms of discomfort or just the Re way you relaxing it in the newborn days? Relaxing, mm -hmm. um, discomfort, and just being able to put yourself into that relaxation yeah. when things are different and hectic and uh -huh. hard. Yeah, because uh -huh. it's a huge life change, isn't yeah. it? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And just to mention actual hypnosis, because hypnosis is that kind of word that people just maybe have some negative connotations about. So what's it actually like being in hypnosis? How would you describe it to people? Well, I don't know, I, I used to just think I was, I was sleeping essentially, yeah, uh -huh. so like, I used to think it was like a great thing, it was a Tuesday, Wednesday night we'd come up here, <laughs> yeah. 
kind of thing on when you get like a 30 minute nap but yeah. at the same time you you come around going like but you feel so chilled out uh -huh. Uh -huh. and i don't know if it was like like the, the whole like at the start you, you actually were learning stuff yeah. so like you you felt like you're actually learning something which is going to benefit you in the yeah. future yeah so i think it was like the sense of relaxation yeah. Yeah. that's what I would call it deep relaxation mm -hmm. as opposed to hypnosis because yeah. I guess when I thought about hypnosis before you think about what you see on the telly mm -hmm. and you'll go to sleep yeah. and then when you yeah. wake up uh, and it's not and like maybe that. being out of control yeah, but um, I think that, that is a bit of a misconception is that someone's going to have control of my mind and I'm not going to be able to sort of you know, make informed decisions and yeah, uh -huh. further. But it's it's kind of the opposite, yeah. isn't it? Where you're very much in control and all hypnosis is really is a, a deeper level of relaxation yeah. and that's where you're able to change any negative thought patterns into positive yeah. and you're instilled with all these positive thoughts as well. So that's kind of where your yeah. confidence comes mm -hmm. from. Yeah. yeah. So nothing to be sort of nervous about or oh, no, you're kind of the opposite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just to mention that your baby was peach. Yes. So you knew that from... Well, first of all, um, my placenta was low. Yes. So yes. before I had even started hypnobirthing, I knew that there was a chance that um, it would have it would have to be cesarean section yeah. um, <laughs> just because of the risks involved. Uh -huh. But um, it turns out when I went to get my scan, maybe 34 weeks to find out if my mm -hmm. placenta had moved. It had moved, but Joshua um, was in breach. Yes. Um, do you want me just to talk about that? Yeah, well? and I was just going to say, you know, you tried a few different techniques to, to yes. turn them. You tried a few different methods, but to I no tried avail. spinning babies, lots uh -huh. of techniques from that. Um, you did some skits to me, which was lovely. Yeah. Um, and I also tried the... Uh, yeah. ECV, I think yeah. it's called, mm -hmm. which is when um, it's a procedure in the hospital where a doctor physically tries to mm -hmm. move the baby. Um, and with that, they usually do two attempts at it, but I used my hypnosis in that. I was listening to my script the whole way through, mm -hmm. and they were able to actually try it four times wow. because the baby's heart rate did not change once. That's amazing. Um, yeah. Even though he wouldn't move, they got his bum out of my pelvis, but they couldn't get his head yeah. turned around. So when I was watching the procedure, it looked incredibly painful, and also you wouldn't think that you could push a pregnant bump that that much. Yeah. You know, like you're putting so much pressure on yeah. you. Yeah. Uh -huh. So like you can, I can imagine like the pain or the, the mm -hmm. thought process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I are are they damaging my baby or? Yeah. Whatever. Uh -huh. And. Laura barely moved. There was a couple of kind of that sore, but it wasn't like yeah, any, anything where anywhere close to what I was thinking. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because she, I, I think Laura would admit that first she has quite a low pain threshold. Yeah, well, so, maybe not after. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but it was people have told me, like, and even <laughs> in the hospital, it's an extremely painful procedure. Um, which I'm sure for a lot of women that is, and it's not to take away and say what well, wasn't sore for me because there was pain but I think because I was so relaxed during it I didn't feel it mm -hmm. as much as maybe I would have if I'd been tensed up and and I also wasn't worried about it either like I felt like I just trusted my body and I knew okay we're going to see what happens yeah, here uh -huh. um, and it was after that um this was just me at I think it was 39 weeks at this oh, point yeah. uh -huh. they presented me with what my options were in terms yeah. of a natural or, um, or a planned c-section uh -huh. and we took a long time to decide what we were going to do because I really, a c-section was the most furthest away from what I ever imagined my birth uh -huh. to be like uh -huh. um, and even my first visit to the midwife I said um, the birthing plan is just to get the baby out safely but not mm -hmm. through section mm -hmm. I was so scared um, at that point of it but in terms of his health as a healthy baby um, there was a lot of risks involved in doing a breach but yeah, uh -huh. um, everyone obviously would have their own informed decision but I feel yeah. like booking the 
to do was the right one for me. Yeah. So we yeah. decided to leave it as late as possible, though. So we only had the section two days before it was due date. Okay. So yeah, and I think that's a really good point as well about hitting a birth target. It is about being informed, isn't it? Yeah. And having the facts, and it's very pro-choice. So it's not to say that you know, you it has to be natural no matter what. You know, there's always things come up for people in pregnancy and birth and it's just making that best decision that you can and having that confidence to go with that and not feeling the fear, I think. Yeah, it's the also the, the thing about birth not being a medical procedure, it used to be a natural thing that you would yes. do in your own house and stuff like that. So I think yeah. for us, like, well for me, like learning all that kind of, when you go through like the history of birth, yes, for uh -huh. us, like, that actually helped because it lets you know how TV and media has made it into something else than yes, it is. Yes. And I think because of all of that, what we see in the media and things, we're all just subconsciously programmed to think it's going to be awful. Mm -hmm. And the stories that we hear are usually negative ones as well, aren't they? So yeah, that's yeah. a really good point. And just think about your section, Laura. So how did hypnobirthing sort of influence the type of section that you had? Well, I did a lot of research and knew what was going to happen so uh -huh. I knew the things that I wanted in yeah. terms of I wanted to have um, skin to skin directly yes. after he was born uh -huh. and I also wanted delayed cord clamping yeah. so with um, the section um, there was also other options that I didn't go for though mm -hmm. so I could have had the curtain down mm -hmm. but I didn't want that mm -hmm. because I think that would have made me quite scared even if I was relaxed yes. so, uh -huh. um, so I got I got everything that I wanted to because I was numb um, the skin to skin was quite high up yeah. but that was okay um, and they delayed the cord clamping for as long as they could uh -huh. as well but I felt like I was able to speak to the doctor and know what I wanted as well as getting the medical yeah. uh -huh. as well uh -huh. and know I feel like I knew what was safe for my body. So I feel like I knew my body at that yeah. point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you felt that you could have a say and a choice in yeah. some things as well. Rather than even saying, being... I think had it not been to have my birth in, um, I wouldn't have had the CV mm -hmm. because of um, just some of the advice that I got in the hospital about well, it's really sore and um, it doesn't always work. Yeah. Um, and I said I wouldn't have even attempted that and I would have just yeah. booked it and I would have just said, yeah, just anything that you want. Yes. Like, just, uh -huh. just, whereas I felt like I was really informed and yeah. I think Richie was the same because you knew what I wanted and you knew yeah. what the support that I needed during that. There was one thing in recovery where they were just like, just carry on your skin to skin. And I'd been out to get changed mm -hmm. out of the scrubs to go back into the recovery room. Yeah. And I came back in maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes tops after the birth. And oh, yeah. I, I, I was like, should I should just so, move him over and try and so feed him? Josh was looking for the, the tell, nipple to uh, latch on and yeah, we only knew I could, that. I could tell that that's what he was looking for and it was only from what we learnt here uh -huh. and I said to the recovery nurse I said can we uh, try and get him on for a bit of feed uh -huh. and, I, and she was like oh no you don't need to worry about that and then we just moved, but we we just just moved the sheet move and on. got him on it and he was feeding when right. she was like within 15 minutes 15 yeah. minutes and that's from like sitting sitting in this room and finding out all that yeah, uh -huh. because but I guess I wouldn't, we wouldn't have known, and yeah. I couldn't move on that much because I couldn't feel yes. my chest, but uh -huh. I couldn't uh -huh. move on myself. Uh -huh. yeah. he, uh -huh. he barely made a noise. Like, mm -hmm. kind of oh, stuff. yeah, and he also, that's another thing, he didn't cry <laughs> when I was yeah. born. Yeah. Yeah. No. Where you yeah. see, like, the, you can imagine that like, it's actually been, like, quite an invasive process mm -hmm. for the mother, but also the baby getting exactly. just, like, picked yeah. out. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. so Without any warning. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, um, Oh, my, my waters hadn't broke, I hadn't went into him sort of naturally mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. um, and he came out happy as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And looking for food. Like looking for food yeah. straight away. Yeah. And that's amazing, you know, from a first time dad mm -hmm. just sort of knowing that, that, that that's what baby is looking for and that that is normal and, and okay in that mm -hmm. situation, even mm -hmm. in, in the theatre yeah. um, or recovery. 
um, for them just to, to go on and have their first feed. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And also, it even got commented on in the theatre, they were like, you guys are just so happy, you're not yeah. even, you know, you aren't worried. And we were like, no, just can't wait. <laughs> we, yeah. we know it's today. Uh -huh. oh, uh, it was awesome. just such a lovely day. Amazing. It's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. So final question here. So doing the hypnobirthing course is a financial commitment for people. It's also a time commitment because it's five sessions. Oh dear. <laughs> five <laughs> sessions. Oh, so each two and a half hours long, so cost and time. What would you say to any girls that are hesitating maybe about doing a course for those reasons? Um, you're investing in your baby, so the money, um, as Richie says as well, like you're not, when you're pregnant, you're not out drinking as much. Uh, well, like, as the mother usually is, isn't it? <laughs> we're, we're out for meals, yeah. and cinema trips. Like, and people that are watching this prior just at the start of their pregnancy, but at the end of it, you've got a partner that wants to go to bed at 8 o'clock. Oh, and at the start. And at the start. Yeah, there's, the start. there's a lot, we met on a lot, a lot of time where, like, the, the guy is sitting downstairs watching telly going, when's the baby arriving? And yeah. you're like, you know, and yeah. the, there's a lot you do, you're not spending a lot of money like you would if you were just a young couple. Yeah. So if, the, if you can, say, budget the, what you'd probably spend on nights out, meals, mm -hmm. trips away, whatever you, you spend your money on, that expendable income's worth it. And I think mm -hmm. the whole experience through your pregnancy, through the birthday, and afterwards uh -huh. is worth it. And I also thought, think it was so nice have that time with Richie and I. Yeah. yeah. And I think it made us um Well we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have spent two and a half hours and then forty five minutes after it talking about what we were gonna do. No, yeah. Every so, every week. So if you add up the hours yeah. yeah. Add up the time. It's that time that well one to one time together, yeah. that bonding as a couple as and well I, with your baby. I also yeah. think um, you can't learn from a book what you do in the classes because you're experiencing it first hand um, and I just think you know people um, get like well I know I did but you know you get your nails done for the worth and you get your lashes done yeah. and, you, and you, yeah. you pay money for all these stuff but actually like the way that you feel you can't buy that mm -hmm. um, so yeah I think it's an investment for before, during and after the birth. That's so lovely to hear and your boy is just absolutely gorgeous. Huge congratulations again. Thank and thank you, you for coming to speak to me. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for everything. You're very welcome. And thank you too for being such a good boy. <laughs> yes, thank you.